I like to say people sometimes think that I'm a chemist, but actually I'm an alchemist. I, I don't really understand all that's going on with some of the chemistry that I'm doing, but sometimes I just uh, try things and if they work, then I keep doing it. For me, fire is a, a living thing. It's, it's this force of nature, of course, but it's a force of nature that I, I love to try to control it in some way. And that's really hard to do. Um, I build equipment, I build burners, I make uh, my glass furnaces, but there's this primal element, I don't know, um, I, I know when I was a kid, I used to love building, <laughs> building campfires and just sitting around a campfire and watching logs burn and, and listening and to the crackling of the wood and the, the flames are fun to watch. But it's interesting that I've made my whole life out of trying to use fire and use heat to melt sand and soda ash and lime just these minerals that you can mine out of the earth. And when they're mixed together, you can leave them for hundreds of years and they'll never change. But if you add 2,300 degrees of heat, it makes this unbelievably beautiful material that flows and drips like honey. When I first started to blow glass 50 years ago, I welded together a steel bench, just four legs and a board on top of it. And I've been using that same bench ever since. Um, I, I know there are probably better ergonomically designed things that I could use today, but, um, but my, my workspace is sort of something that's in, evolved from when I didn't really know how to blow glass at all. I was teaching myself to, um, now I, I've gotten so used to it that that's just equipment that I use. I use wood a lot in, to manipulate the glass. And the reason for that is because steel tools, steel is cold and it sucks heat out of the glass. So by using wood, I can be a little bit more gentle with the glass. To shape the glass, I also use newspaper. Um, and um, I particularly like the Wall Street Journal um, because the newsprint sucks up just the right amount of moisture. And so I, uh, in, in the summertime, we fold parts of the Wall Street Journal and put it under water. And then six months later, it's ready to go. I think for me, getting a different perspective on my world has always been an important part of my, my life. When I, was a, when I was a kid, I used to spend a ridiculous amount of time climbing trees. And I did it, well, part of the challenge of just climbing a, a difficult tree was fun, but I also love to get a different perspective on the earth, being up high. And eventually that led to me getting a pilot's license. And I, I love flying. When I'm preparing to go off on, on to fly my airplane, I, there's, a, there's a routine that I go through, which is to carefully walk around the plane, checking all the things that need to be checked that could have changed, whether it's the engine or the, the wings or the ailerons or the, the empennage in the back of the plane. I need to check to make sure it all is working because it's hard to stop on the side of the road if there's a problem with your airplane. And in a way, when I start to blow glass, it's the same way. I, I set up my bench and my tools for the project that I intend to do that day. For the airplane, I have a specific checklist that I check every single time. Um, for the glass blowing, because different, I make different objects on different days, there's a different checklist for everything, but often the checklist is in my mind and sometimes I forget stuff. What, what's interesting about my planets is that you can hold one in your hand and you can imagine being an, uh, an astronaut 
floating in orbit around that little world. And in a blink of a moment, you can also think of yourself as a scuba diver swimming in, in that atmosphere or swimming in the water around that planet. And it, you can go from micro to macro in a moment. And I love the fact that different people bring different perspectives to my work. So some people see it as underwater, other people see it as outer space. I think that's what I like to do. I, I think I love to explore and, and find things that you wouldn't be able to see if you were just standing on the earth. My name is Josh Simpson and I'm a glass blower. I live and work in Western Massachusetts, a little town called Shelburne Falls. <laughs>